Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we're playing Eminus. This is a game in development. This is one I already made a video on. I'm not going to go too much into it, except for um, this is going to be actually playing the game. Last time was a blind review, and I was really focused on, um, you know, just getting getting a quick video together, just to just to give some some support, some feedback to the developer. And I um, mean, this one I'm actually <laughs> it's going to be a little bit different. That's all I'm going to say. Ooh, no, let's play. Let's play. I the continue button didn't work anyway. Which, you know, it gets a pass. It's in it's in development. That's fine. But um I didn't want that one, so it works out. Um yeah, so actually just a little backstory while this is loading. Um I made a video on this and um I got a just shocking number of views on the video. And so thanks to everyone in that community um for this for this game, for the developer. I do appreciate that. And um and th this video, yes, it is for you guys. This is literally just for you guys. We got some really good uh, positivity um, in, in the comment sections and everything, and I really appreciate that. And a lot of times when someone's like, hey, you can press this button to do that, you can press this button to do that, I'm like, you know, okay, well, thank you for the heads up, and I appreciate your, uh, your input, but, you know, that was a one-off. That was like a one-off thing. I just played a game just to see how it was and made some videos. Um, this one, however, I do appreciate, appreciate your input, and uh, we're going to do it. Okay. Here we go. So, last time I wasn't really paying attention to the objectives. Um, you know, again, it wasn't I wasn't focused on playing the game and doing the thing. I was just focused on... Um, on just like a review. Just like my first impressions. Like, like very first impressions. Um, and so now I'm going to be a little bit... Um, Try to be a little bit more tact, tactical and sneaky, and so I was watching the. Um, there was a, an official trailer for this game, and I, I watched it, and uh, the objective changed. So, like in my first impressions, I just kind of thought, like, okay, we go here, head northwest, and find the backpack. Game over, done, you win. But no, that's not it. The objective changes, and there's a lot more I think to the game than what I initially thought. Um, and so here we are. Okay, so I just pressed one and got the okay the assault rifle back. Press two. That sounds like a pistol. Ooh, yes. And um, the reason I know this, or that I thought to do it, was because someone left a comment. Um, as silly as that sounds, like how could you not think to use a pistol in a first-person shooter game? But um, that's why. And then also, uh, what is it? Press B, binoculars. Cool. And then uh, H for med kits, which we will probably use later. Looks like in the bottom right we have uh, two out of four capacity. So the the one one thing that I kind of had a problem with in the, in the first one was like when guys when guys spot you, they spot you in like 0. 0.2 seconds, and like there's no there there's no um, let's see. It's real, right? Like guys spot you, they acquire target, start firing, which is what I would expect in real life, but Okay, that's right. Uh, crouch is not toggle. But, um, you know, in a game, like, there's a fine line. The developer has to walk that line between uh, fun and real. Uh, and we are being shot at. Okay, okay. That was two hits. Uh, we're Nope, that was at least... Oh, that was... We're going to get hit. I know it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I wish I could go prone. Which I could go prone, and then I had like some kind of better, I could, well, an optic period. Um, let's see, restart. Is there a checkpoint? Let's see how that works. But yeah, I wish there were an optic. So like, you know, I could go prone. I could get an elevate position uh, with some concealment, like you know, just some bushes or whatever. And then, um, yeah, like side in with with an optic and like and get a couple of one shot because right now like the. I don't think that the iron sights are really... They're not doing it for me. And, um... Okay, it's not working. So let's just go restart. Okay, oh. Maybe it isn't... It's not that it's not working. Maybe it's just that I didn't get a checkpoint. Because I didn't even kill a guy, right? And I didn't get the objective done. So that's probably the better guess. However, we're going to go ahead and just fire from here. So you could hear the hit. And hit again. So there's an audible cue... There's a hit. He's dead. Do you, do you hear? It's kind of like um, thrusting like a screwdriver like into sand. <laughs> I don't know why that comes up first. 
in my head, but that that's it. That's what the sound is. Like, you know, it's it, it, right there. Boop, boop. Okay, and I'm I'm aiming too high is what it is. So the um, there's a guy. There's a guy. Can I fire? Nope. That's one thing I always complain about. Not just this game. All first-person shooters. Like, the only one I think that did it right was Bad Company 2. Battlefield Bad Company 2, where you could you could shoot through cover. You could use a grenade launcher to take down entire walls. Um, and maybe that's, like, corrugated steel for the fences. I don't know. But um, just, just in general, this is not even relevant to this game so far. We're being shot at. Where is he? Who is... We're getting, like, wasted. And it seems like we have an injury. Yeah, I don't... Without a directional uh, damage indicator, it's kind of tough. But, like, um, again, it comes back to that fine line between, you know, it's a game and having fun and, like, realism. And so I think right there, maybe... Um, I think it's, it's more fun and realistic um, if you know where the shots are coming from. Because, like, I'm not really getting, like, a good positional audio. I have headphones on. Um, so, like, I don't, I had no idea where the shot was coming from. Um, and if I'm getting hit by the shot, maybe I have an idea. Was it in front of me or to the right? You know, just something simple like that. But it doesn't sound... Oh, that guy just... Oh, no. He's shooting us. Okay. Took a lot of hits there. Let's go like this. Let's use the med kit. Oh, that's instantaneous med kit. Okay. Um, that's... That's probably something that takes some time, right? Like creating an animation for using something, like using a consumable in a game. And so that's probably why there's no animation for it. Just a guess. But it worked, right? We're... Oh, shoot. Get away. Get away. I don't even know who's shooting me, but there's 20 health each time we take a shot. Let's see how the pursuit mechanics work. So we're going to run. And so what I'm accustomed to, as I mentioned in the first video, is like um, Ghost Recon games. So just hit reload. Ghost Recon games were like... They'll pursue you for a, for some time, and then you can, like, take cover somewhere. Um, well, it's pretty common, like, with most games where you're running from the bad guys, right? Whether it be at cops or, like, an actual bad guy army, you can run for a while, take cover, and then they'll stop chasing you. They didn't find me, like, wherever, wherever they are. I don't know if they're chasing me or not, which I kind of like because um, that that's real. Like, if someone who is trained in, like, a little bit of stealth or, like, tracking... Um, they'll probably um, try to avoid detection by you as they try to pursue you. One thing I like a lot about and that I, I've seen kind of like um, it's starting to emerge. Oh, shoot. That was directional. I heard that in the right ear. That's why I turned so quickly. Holy cow. Where is that guy? But yeah, like... um, can, I don't think I can go prone. No one told me I could go prone in the comment section. Thank you to the uh, Linaris army. I think that's how you say it. What? I can hear like radio chatter or something. I'm going to turn down my mouse sensitivity so it's not so jerky. I know I move it pretty quickly. But, um, okay. If I can complete that thought for just a moment that I was working on. So, I like seeing in games where you reload and then you lose the rest of the rounds in that magazine. I like that. Um, it's part of like difficulty settings. It's like scalable or adjustable or whatever. But but I, I like it. It makes it a lot more... For me, it adds to the immersion. Um, if I'm in this situation, I wouldn't reload. You know, because like, I expect to fire some more rounds. But like um, transitioning between areas, you know, I definitely reload and... Um, you know, if I had, like, less than 10 rounds, there's a dude. So I know there's a guy behind me. And so I'm just kind of, like, describing. At this point, I'm, I have, like, a heightened awareness or, like, kind of, like, heightened sensitivity to, like, paying attention to any noise from that area. But at the same time, the show must go on. So that guy didn't... I shot him twice, and then he started paying attention to me. Is what's that guy doing? You gonna come over here? Oh. Okay, so when you stand up, there's a lot of. Yeah, there's a lot of sway when you stand up. Holy cow. Oh, my toe. Okay, so, um. I just wanna backtrack a little bit here. 
So the thing I was saying about like losing ammo when you reload, I'm, I haven't been paying attention so far, but I was just kind of talking, but um, I just noticed that's how it is. I, I'm pretty sure. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just looking at the mode. It's a, it's a lot. I think it's realistic. You ever tried shooting standing up? It sucks. Shooting at like 100 meters plus when you're standing up, it's it's difficult. Well, for me, it is. Maybe there, there's someone out there who's like an old pro. And they're like, oh, who's this? You whipper snapper. Okay. I'm trying to sneak. I hope it's apparent, like, I'm caring a lot more about this playthrough, even though I might not be doing well. I'm taking my time a lot more and, like, trying to play it for for what it is and the way it's meant to be played. Okay, so he's down. There's a guy. He's probably going to see me and shoot me. Nope. Wait, so... That must have been a headshot. Oh. Headshot. Ooh, okay, so there's all the med kits. <laughs> no more. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Here's something. Why are they able to hit me every time they fire, but they're not even crouched? Like, I would like to see, I guess, a little bit, um, a little bit, like, uh, more greenhorn enemies. You know what I mean? Like, they're not expert uh, lock on and kill you. Without and they don't take cover or anything, and I'm sure that's all in the works. I'm just trying to like give some feedback while I'm playing. Okay, so this guy up here saw me last time. Anybody else seen me? Yep, they're all seeing me. Let's see if I can kill him before he even gets a shot off. And this is a pretty big range, right? Like this is far away, and I'm hitting him um, as long as it, you know, like I'm aiming it well. Like, as, as aiming the mouse well, not... Oh, shoot. Headshot. Um, I don't know if there would be that much... Smoke. I don't know. Like, oh, shoot. Okay, nice. And then, so you have... To, oh, what's C? Okay, what's that guy doing? He's just standing there. Is he deaf? Maybe maybe he is deaf. And maybe he's an idiot and didn't see all of his buddies running to face one direction. See what I mean? Like, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it takes a lot of time as a developer to... to do this. Um, but, I, I mean... It would have been, I think, a lot better if, um, if he, like, went to take cover or if he, like... It took him a moment to spot me. You know what I mean? Like, he turned and just locked on. Boom, boom. You know what I mean? Just I keep saying you know what I mean because I think everybody does. Okay, there's a med kit. Sweet. Oh, there are some guys. So they're not aware we are not clear. Are there any guys in this tent? Why am I running around <laughs> and not being stealthy anymore? Okay. Let's, let's check out these fences real quick. Pretty plain, right? Like... Um, it's a texture, it does the job, but it'd be cool if there were, like, a little bit more variation, like, um, if it were dirtier, or, you know, it just didn't all look like it came out of a, like, a Connex, like, or that truck, and then just, like, posted up, I don't know, scratches, things that sit in storage or, like, are moved a lot, like, for rapid deployment that are temporary, they oftentimes have, like, a lot of scratches and stuff on them. Okay. We're... I'm going to try the pistol here. See how shiny the pistol is? It's very reflective. Can we pick up the E-tool? Nope. You know, I'm, I'm nitpicky about a lot of things like that. But, like, you know, overall, um, like like I said, it's, it's a texture and it works for what it is. For that object, I think it's good. So I was looking at the tires here. And same thing, I think they're good-looking tires. Like, I would love to have those on... on like my vehicle, that'd be great, but um, 
You don't have, you don't have like a team of six people working for a month on the text or the tire textures. You know what I mean? Sitting at like some some international office. All I'm saying is it's like one developer, so um, it does. In my bag, it gets or my in my bag in my mind it gets a pass on a lot of those nitpicky things. Let's see let's see how these iron sights work. For some reason, like the camera kind of tilted left, right? Like it's kind of canted left a little bit. Let's see how this works. Headshot. Headshot. Okay, that worked pretty well. And so, yeah, you know, like, okay, let's go back up here and revisit this scenario real fast. So I was, where was I? Up here? Was I up on this one or the other one? I think I was up on this hill, right? Anyway, I was trying to shoot from that distance with a pistol. I'm um, trying to aim for the head and... I didn't get headshots, and, like, that's what I would expect in real life. Like, for me, shooting a pistol. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be so much damage. No, it wasn't any damage. Okay, last time when I fell off uh, the left side of this, I must have just been getting shot that whole time. I thought I was taking full damage. Ooh. Oh. I was like, give me the AK. Okay, we can't have an AK. That's all right. I think for a stealth mission, having a smaller caliber and something that's more accurate on point targets at range is better press f to pick up ammo ammo count didn't change for that weapon but look we have three magazines now for this one i think that changed frankly i'm not even paying attention to that so um i'm gonna call it here for this one and i'm gonna make a couple more videos for this game um you can see go west oh no we need to go west where's the mini map is it up there where's west anyway that's it for this one um yeah, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.